I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. This is the Binding of Afterbirth. The Binding of Afterbirth. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's you can see what it is. Um, so I'll be honest. I'm mainly doing this as a bit of a test. Um, I'm trying a new recording setup. Uh, so instead of having my computer running the game, recording the game, and recording my audio, I have purchased for myself a portable audio recorder, and I've plugged my microphone into that instead. So I'm currently recording my audio on a separate device, which I will then hopefully be able to put in my computer and then run, you know, put the thing together. Also, I've downloaded, down, downloaded, I will learn words, I have downloaded a new uh, video editing software as well, because Lightworks is playing silly buggers. I thought I'd give something else a try, so this is also a test for that. So if some of the fun things I've been doing with the records as of late, the editing video presses don't appear in this video, it's because I'm still learning. Um, also, I downloaded something else. I've downloaded some mods for Binding of Isaac to make things interesting. Partially external item descriptions, so I know what the hell is going on. Oh, typical. I thought the house was empty, someone was running water in the background. That's going to turn up in the record as well. I apologise. Um, as you can see, I've also got the Binding of Pokemon Plus, which is just basically a, uh, a palette swap of things. And True Co-op. Um, so Binding of Isaac does have a co-op feature uh, for local co-op in which um, one person just takes over like a little um, baby buddy-like thing. Flies around, shoots himself. True Co-op is supposed to be, basically you get two people playing properly Binding of Isaac. Um, but it is local co-op. However, Steam has recently uh, made it so you can play local co-op not locally, including for this game. So, you know, at some point, if ever anybody hates themselves enough to, co to do a collab with me, we might be able to try that at some point. But for the moment, let's just do some external item descriptions. And if anybody knows some interesting Binding of Isaac mods they'd like me to try, leave a comment. I'll, I'll look them up, I'll play with them. If they're entertaining, you'll get a video about it. And if I go completely insane, I will get several mods and put all of them on at once. But for the moment, let's just do some item descriptions. As I said, this is as much a recording for me to test my new equipment as it is for your entertainment. Your entertainment is hopefully just a side product. Um, let's do greed mode, because what the hell. And let's do laser beam death face. Yeah, yeah. I like Azazel. He's a fun little boy. Yep, bit of range. Noise. That's the problem. Some of these things, you pick them up and you go, ooh, range up. But there's actually a secondary effect it doesn't tell you about. And that is... Bad design. I've just noticed something. I want... Where is it? Charge bars. I want to know how long it's taking me to charge these things. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Key. Don't need that hard. And just a me. Oh, okay. Let's get this thing, which is... Yep. Bombs for days. Everybody loves some bombs. Uh, it takes three charge, actually, which in this game is pretty useful. Okay. Uh, let's not go into the spiky door. Actually, yes, I can go in the spiky door. Because I don't get hurt straight away as Azazel. So I can go in, and I've got the Fool, so I can just teleport straight out again. This is energy. Might be useful. Oh, a spider friend. And... Bombs well, that's useless key. at this point. Out we go. The fool. Right, let's kill some fools. The Zazel is overpowered as all hell. I love him. His only weakness is the fact that he uses has uh, black hearts instead of red hearts, so you can't restore your health very easily. However, he can also fly, so I can just sit on a rock and no one can get me. Because I am a cheap bastard. Jesus, what is it all the poo? Ow. Oh well, they're all dead. Christ, this level is just spoiling poo like nobody's business. No. 
Die. Die. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, I hate these things. Bomb yourselves. Well, that's, I got some of them. Die. Die. I hate them because they can spit at you from across the room. They appear and disappear randomly. In the, uh, the, the timing they appear and disappear is the same, but the location's random. Which makes them an absolute pain in the ass to try and find. Particularly when you've got a very short range attack like this. Right, let's get some health. Also, I can stomp on things, which kind of undermines the flying aspect, but whatever. I have to find some secrets. I did not find any secrets. Right, I got three coins, so let's get a key. While they is on the cheap. Let's ram it up in this box. Give me stuff. Ah, I was hoping you'd get that guy. Uh, right. So that's uh, ten coins. And a couple of bombs. Let's bomb these guys. Give me some coins. Thank you. So this is the one downside of the mods. Is as you can see, it just covers up a huge amount of the screen over there. Particularly for things like Mr. Me, which does so many different things. Familiars that can do tasks for... Oh, okay, yeah, that's the one. I remember. Uh, I vaguely... I was trying to remember what um, this guy does. Basically, it spawns a little sort of ghost thing, and you can point at it to, in a specific place, and it will then go and do the thing. But it's not particularly useful, because um, if you use it in a... Um, if you're trying to use it in the middle of a fight, then you can't move yourself. <laughs> it's not, uh, not helpful. And typically, it goes to do things that this character can do of his own accord. Uh, let's see. I don't particularly like any of the items that are here. Let's buy a key while they're cheap and get some different stuff. There we are. Ooh, so that makes things quicker. Tears up. Or... Hmm. Oh, that's just a trinket. Okay. I'm thinking... Which I know is not the most interesting of things to watch. Just a guy stood there doing nothing on the game and silently thinking to himself. I'm going to go with battery. I'm not going to go with battery. I can't afford it. Fine, let's get the toothpicks. And let's kill a boss thing. Oh, not the bloody haunt. I hate this little bastard. I can do damage to the guy, but uh, you always take damage yourself on account of you can't hit him from across the room with this guy. And if you go in a line with him, he'll just do a un pretty much undodgeable speed dash attack at you. I don't know what to call it. Nice, there we go. Um, I only have one heart. I'm going to die very, very quickly. Check the record's still going alright. Yep, yep, we're good there. Yeah, go through the sodding door. Jesus. Health. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, and that gives me hearts. Good. One heart. They were not as helpful as I was hoping they would be. That one is. Uh, nothing else I can really bomb around here. Let's, let's fight the big bad things. Let's leave bombs for friends. Ah, it's a pin. See, Ben, you can just take out the quickest one shot with this uh, laser death beam. Be dead. Yeah. So, what have we got? We've got the hairball, which is basically useless. Because you've got to sort of swing yourself around by doing that and try and hit things. Or sacrificial altar, which requires familiars, which I don't have. Hooray. Wasting my goddamn time. Anyway. Break all the rocks. And find no secrets. Damn it. Moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip the rigmarole of watching the loading screen. Okie dokie. In we go. Wow, that was dangerous. The, uh, the mushrooms explode sometimes. I forgot I could stomp on them. I already have that. Why not? 
Yes, now I can double crush rocks. I am the crushiest of rock smashers. These are words that I am currently saying. Extra trinket, yeah, sure, nice. And you are... Poison Tooth Tears. I don't think that particularly works with my current laser beam of death, but hey, what the hell. Right, what can we afford? Uh, bye bye Blasty Fire, bye bye Poo. Bye bye Poo. Bye bye Fire. Get the coin, get those. Yeah, let's break the parts, why the hell not? Because spiders, that's why the hell not. Something spiders. Well, that was a almost complete waste of time. The problem is with the we need to go deeper is that you miss out on so many items by skipping floors. Usually, though, the, the reason you fight bosses, the reason you explore dungeons is to find stuff to make it so that the next level you have a chance of succeeding in. Ah, well. Right, button... Don't you spit flies at me, you little bugger. And be dead. Be dead. Hi. That did next to nothing on you guys because you're sodding immortal when you crouch down. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Damn it. Stop being alive! Damn it, now I'm going to get less coins for this level. Oh, in case you weren't aware, you can stop the uh, wave-based combat at any point by standing on the button, like I did by accident. But if you do all the, um, the waves in one sort of continuous session, then you actually get slightly more coins uh, as a result. Which I'm not going to get now, so I've lost out on, I don't know, two or three coins? I don't know how many exactly. Um, I, the things I can afford I don't want, and the things I want I can't afford. Welcome to... Tumorism, I suppose. Die! Stupid fat bat. Be a stop thing. Why am I getting all the words in my sentences mixed up today? I'm saying all the right words, just not in the order right they are in my head. Uh, oh god, I didn't know... How do I not see there were three of them? I only saw one of them somehow. Hate the sodding worms. Don't you spit flies at me, you cheap little floor bottom. I don't actually know what those things are supposed to be. They usually look like some sort of orifice popping out from the floor. Right, so now I have 20 coins. I can go get that little extra health boost. Thank you. Gimme. Give me, give me the thing. Damage up, speed up. See, the thing is, this thing does so much damage, you don't really need to worry about damage up items. Um... Let's let's get another key. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Jeez, where did that come from? Well, my lungs, obviously. Shut up. Hey, it's Loki. Loki? I want to say Loki. No, it's not Loki. Who are you? Little Horn. That's it. That's his name. It's Little Horn. Don't you spit bombs at me, you bugger. Who next? Ah, double pin. I was not expecting that. So as I said before, you can take Pin out with basically a single shot if, you know, he, his uh, trajectory lines up properly. Um, but clearly that time it took a few shots. It's possible that uh, Pin was given more health that time because it's a later level. I don't know if that's how this game works. I'm just going to assume it is. Um, I don't know why I'm assuming it is. I'm going to assume it isn't, actually, because it isn't something I thought the game did. Ah, oh, he's dead. A uh, pill that I don't particularly want to test in the middle of battle on account of it could be, like, paralysis, and that'll completely screw me over. Or it could be balls of steel and will save me life, but, you know. Bomb flies piss off. Thou art irritating. Jesus, why? Why do you need this many bomb flies? This is absurd. 
problem with the bomb flies is that, again, this is kind of a close combat kind of encounter. And they all explode. So if you're too close, you explode. Like that, see? Ow. Wait a minute, why don't I just do that? There we go. Ooh, angel room. Nice. Fire white blasts of light. Holy brimstone. Done. Smite thy enemy. Um, these aren't... This isn't white brimstone. This is regular brimstone. Damn it. Oh well. What does this do? Paralysis. I bloody called it. Paralysis. Hey, you guys want to see me fight an angel? Hi, Angel. Be dead. Ow. Be dead. Be dead. Be a thing that is not alive anymore. Well, that... <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Mistakes were definitely made there. Okay. So, I'm going to keep this episode... Slightly shorter than usual. As I said, I'm doing a few experimental things, uh, including getting used to the editing software and getting used to the uh, new recording setup. So, you know, 15 minutes instead of 30. Not the end of the world, I'm sure you'll agree. Particularly given how pathetically I ended that. Okay. Bye. <laughs>